Welcome back to Sports Night. UTSA and Texas State football may be over, but now it's time for hoop season. Yeah, the Roadrunners 2-5 and five so far this season. The Bobcats 6-1. and one. Wow. The two squads met for the <laughs> I-35 rivalry this afternoon. Well, these two teams played a thriller last year. UTSA rallied from 9 down in the final minute. Similarly dramatic this season. A little two-man action going back and forth. Ends up in the hands of Alex Peacock. Steps into the 3 and knocks it through to give the Bobcats the lead late. Peacock had 15 points. Now UTSA star sophomore Javon Jackson also trying to make things happen. Misses the runner, tries to get it to go back up. He is tied up. The ball back to the Bobcats. Final three minutes of the game kind of devolved into a free throw fest. Javon Jackson hit two late threes to give UTSA a three-point lead late. He finished with a game high 22 points. Balanced effort by Texas State. Ultimately, too much for the Roadrunners to overcome. Nigel Pearson finished with a game high 26 points, including the pivotal final ones of the game. The Bobcats win 69 to 68. Here's UTSA head coach Steve Henson after the narrow loss. Well, I was proud of parts of the game. We fought pretty hard defensively. Um, you know, felt bad for them, you know. You, you know those, those games like that, if the point, you know, if it's one point the other direction, you feel great. It doesn't mean you played any differently, you know. And it's one point in their favor, we feel terrible. Um, they're a good team. Uh, we got a lot of work to do. That's what we talked about: is how, how we're going to respond. We've been talking about it. We're taking some baby steps, but we got a lot of a lot of work to do if we're going to be a really, really good team. I think we've got the pieces to do that. Uh, we still got to figure out what our identity is going to be. You know, we're not playing real, real fast. We're not uh, defending at a real high level. Um, we're we're, we're kind of average in a lot of areas right now. And if we're going to be a really good team, we need to, to establish an identity. Yeah, he, I think he was just going after the ball. You know, he saw the missed shot and just determined to go get the ball. And uh, he didn't, you know, he didn't. He went and grabbed the ball with two hands, but he clearly there was clearly contact there. It was right in front of me. I didn't didn't get a great look at it, but um, it's kind of a play. You just have to let it go. As much as he wanted to go get the basketball, uh, kind of had to let that one go.